welcome to another video. In today's video, it's how I cool my place with solar power. Solar powered AC. Okay, boy, if you remember these fans, you really are a fan of the channel. So originally I bought these when I first got the container and I had them wired up there to just move the air around and to provide myself with disco lighting. Super fun. They didn't last long. They were really dirty all the time. So I got these. I got this gizmo here. And what this is, is this is a piece that's 3D printed for ASIC miners. Okay, to attach a fan specifically to an ASIC miner. Then this is a reduction from another random part that I found online that somebody makes these for like inside of something or something. But yeah, I had to order it from like three different sellers to get four of them. Okay, so now I am assembling this all up right now. So the way my system works is this is my heater. It has three four inch ducts that go in there and go off into the other room. Then there is four three inch ducts as returns. There's two here. This used to be where my diesel heater worked, right here. And then I added one over there, and there's one down there as well. So now my air conditioner that I put in last summer, and this is how I weatherize that basically. So I just have that so the air conditioner is there. When I need it, I just lift this bar off take that cover off and then I'm exposed to the air conditioner right there okay so last year all I did was run the air conditioner on solar power I would turn it on a little bit before the battery was all the way charged up and then as soon as the sun went below the solar power solar started dipping I would turn it off that was sufficient to keep the solar equipment, the batteries, everything in this room, perfect for regardless of what the weather was. Now, this is where I live is on this side. This year, I'm actually going to use the battery. I don't know if I have enough panels to run the AC unit all night long and then get the batteries charged back up. I'm gonna have to test that. It's the only way I'm gonna find out. But I'm nearly positive that I have enough batteries to run the AC unit all night long. And like I was using zero battery last year. But when the smoke gets when the forest fire smoke comes around and I have to leave my door open at night to get to be to sleep, you know, and then I'm just sleeping in forest fire smoke. It's so bad, which happened a couple times last year. Well, I think I can avoid that by putting these little fan boosters on my intake and pushing the cold air from this room into the other room and get uh, more AC out of the out of the system. So I'll be running AC, will be actually chilling more. I was getting a little bit of a cooling effect in there just from the connection, but not much. So with those fans pushing in, I'm hoping to get a fully air conditioned living space that in the case of forest fire, I can just buckle this place up, run the air conditioner, and not choke on smoke. That's the plan. I've got the old metal floor. I had some metal down here that was uh, from my old diesel heater. So now I'm ready. I've got these all lined up. 
connected and conveniently they just slide in so I don't even have to tape them and I can pull them out seasonally five amps to the switch boop, 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 boop. all working that's how you run AC on solar power to chill the next door unit. Like, subscribe, peace. Thank you for watching my video.